five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, this is Alex Bennett, and we're here until midnight Eastern Daylight Time from the East Coast of the United States in New York, New York. The city's so nice, they named it twice. Ladies and gentlemen, the person you see in front of you is one Ronnie Bennett. There were Good two, morning. There'd be two Ronnie Bennetts there if my eyes were not so correct now since I got my conjunctivitis taken care of. Oh, anyway. you can see better now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, it's much clearer, much clearer. So uh, anyway, hello, Ronnie. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Fine. You're in Lake Oswego, which is uh, in Oregon. Yes. Uh, which is, how's the, how's the corona affecting you guys there? Well, there are a number of cases, more than a lot of other places, but nothing like Washington State. Mm -hmm. New York, but yeah. um, but I am taking it very seriously, and basically I'm terrified. Yeah. Uh, we have no idea how many cases there are. Apparently, I heard one report this morning. I don't know what's nobody knows what's true anymore. Is that the most testing we ever did was on March fifth, and it's gone downhill from then. And until we have widespread testing, we have no idea what we're up against. None. Unless we have widespread testing, we don't know the, the actual numbers. I mean, there are people probably who are getting what they consider minor flus who have it, but they, they don't know it because it's a minor flu. And uh, then it goes away. But in the meantime, they've infected how many other people? That's the what problem. What Dr. Fauci said yesterday at, at, in Congress was that on average, on average, Every infected person infects two to three other people, and then each of them, of course, infects two to three other people, and um, and that does not sound unreasonable to me. What I heard him say was with the common flu, it was two to three. With this one, it's up to seven. I didn't hear that. Yeah, that, that I heard. And I had the TV on all day, so. Yeah, well, yeah, all coronavirus all the time, right? Uh, yeah, well, you know, I've made... A list of the things I do and don't do anymore mm -hmm. um, because I'm old like you and I oh, have no, a you're not old like me you're not old like Sorry. me I'm much grouchier than you are oh <laughs> yeah I just pretend I'm not when we do this thing. Um, and um, and I have severely damaged lungs yes you, yeah so um, you know, I'm I'm pretty sure that if I get the virus, I will die. Because, and there's just not going to be anything anybody can do with all the stuff I have wrong with me. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll go, she's a fixer-upper. <laughs> you know? I'm sorry, what? I, I didn't follow that. <laughs> no, they'll just say, well, she's a fixer-upper and she's not worth fixing up, so let's just oh, let I her see. go. Listen, yeah. you know, I've read some things that it's going to come to that. Because we don't have enough beds, and we don't have enough of whatever those things that help people breathe when they're sick. Well, I've forgotten what they're called. And um, and the time is going to come, uh, if it's as bad as so many people think, that you're going to be presented with two people, doctors are, both with the virus, and they don't have what's necessary to treat them both. Yeah. So they're going to have to make some awful, awful decisions. My hope that if I'm one of those people, take the younger person. I've had a good life. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. I have no complaints, and I'm old. Um, but and and I think we all have to think about those things right now because it's not going to get better anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Fauci also said yesterday that it's going to get worse, much worse. Yeah. And. Um, you know, I mean, that first time he appeared on camera with the president, he really disappointed me. And he's been a hero of mine going clear back to his work with HIV and AIDS. And he, that, he in that very first press conference with the president, I think it was at the CDC or maybe it was the day before, 
You know, he talked about how much the president was doing. Well, that was bullshit then. And, um, and he really disappointed me um, in doing that. And yeah. as that was the head of the CDC did the same thing. And mm -hmm. it just, uh, I, did you watch the speech last night? No, I didn't. I, I, we, we were going to watch it, and then we forgot about it, and it was so quick that it was over by the time we got to it. Yeah, it was only about 10 minutes. Because we like to watch the president give those speeches because it's the only real comedy we get in our lives right now. Well, this time it's not funny. And, um, and a lot of people are dead already, and a lot more are going to die. So I have a bunch of rules for myself. Yeah, like? Well, I wash my hands. That's the most effective way is washing your hands. Um, you should save sanitizer for when you're not near soap and water. Mm -hmm. And I'm down to, as everybody else may be in the country, I'm down to, you know, a little travel size. And that's mm -hmm. it. You can't find it for any amount of money. You can't find the proper kind of hand sanitizer anymore. Um, I'm not going out unless I absolutely have to. Mm hmm um, I'm thinking about, yesterday I had a CT scan at the medical center. How'd that go, by the way? <laughs> like a CT scan goes. I mean, you lie there, they take a picture. Yeah. Um, there's nothing more to say. But, um, but I'm thinking that if I don't have to have anything done to me that requires medical equipment mm -hmm. that I want, anytime I've got an appointment with a doctor, I would rather do telemedicine now because... Hey, it's a hospital. It's it's five hospitals or more, and that's where the sick people are. <laughs> so. Well, you you can imagine. I uh, uh, you know I last week had a procedure at a hospital, and that scared me. Not because of the procedure, but because of the uh, the possibilities of the coronavirus. You know, where, where is it going to show up the most in a hospital? You know. Um, um, but and, uh, you also don't want to use up their time, maybe if you know there are people who are really sick, and we don't have enough capacity in our hospitals. So well, I have I have a, a thing with my eye where I have to have the lids. Uh, don't tight. do that. No, tight. Well, tight. <laughs> don't pull on it. <laughs> well, have have to be tightened up because they they're they're drooping and it, it that bacteria gets in there and everything. And it has to be fixed. It's a medical. It's my neighbor insurance. just had that done. Well, but I have before I do it, I have to go over to Mount Sinai and get an eye test. Mm -hmm. And I am not going to do it till this thing has kind of abated itself because I'm well, that I, may be many months. Well, I'm then I'm going to wait many months because I'm not going to go over there and take up their precious space when they could use it helping other people with something very serious, you know. You know, another thing that I'm going to do now, I just made the decision yesterday, I guess, <clears throat> is that from earlier in my treatment for the things that are wrong with me, there was a period of two months where twice a day I had to give myself injections in my abdomen. Mm -hmm. And I have a big box left over of nitrile gloves. Yeah. Um, and so I, I put some in my handbag and I'm going to leave some in the car. Because last time I was at the market, they have a dispenser with um, with things to clean your hands with it, mm -hmm. and the, and the and the basket you're pushing. Yeah, it was empty the last time I was there, and uh, so everybody else is finally using it, which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm going to take the gloves because whatever I'm buying around the store, I don't know who's talked it, you know, touched it or coughed on it or whatever. So I'm going to use those and throw them away afterwards. I, I have a, 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 a tradition. Uh, I guess it's a, it's almost a, a, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a, it's it, it's a habit that I have when I go to any doctor's office. That when he's not looking, I steal a pair of gloves. Oh, uh, you know, because they got they had thousands of them. Okay, they pay for those. Yeah. That goes on everybody's bill. They they take them, I put them on, they take them off, they throw them away, take them on. Throw, but anyway, I just do it as tradition. I haven't collected that many. I have maybe four or five pair of them. And now I have a reason to use them, you know, uh, and, and, um, and try and go out and find those gloves anywhere right now. Go on Amazon. I bet they're not available any longer. 
Yeah, there's not, and people, and if there's anything funny about this, and I don't find any of it funny, it's that people are hoarding toilet paper, apparently. There's several news stories, and and there's, everybody keeps saying there's plenty of toilet tissue. Why, why would people be hoarding toilet paper is what I couldn't figure. I heard that too, and I went. Because they think it's going to run out, like hand sanitizer. Toilet paper is not going to run out. You know, well, that's what other that's what they're saying in the reporting, but people don't believe it. But this that's a very important point, Alex, is that none of us believe anything coming out of the government. So if the reporter got that information right. from some government employee, why would you believe it? Everything out of their mouths is a different story. None yeah. of it makes any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um so I, I think that that is almost the most dangerous thing that's going on is that there's no way to believe anything the government says right now yeah well they say you can't find hand sanitizer anywhere that it's it, well that wasn't what i was just you no know, but what i'm saying is 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 things like that i mean is there, are there any other things people are hoarding that they don't need to hoard i guess uh i mean when i was at the supermarket two or three days ago all the shelves where there are like surface cleaning products, you know, things you squirt on the counter and okay. wipe it down. Yeah. That sort of thing. Those were empty. Those were all gone. Um, there were all that places where hand sanitizer would be were all empty. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped on the way home at the drugstore and they had none um, of any of that stuff either. So, you know, you do the best you can. Soap and water is best. And if you don't go to other, I mean, what this is going to do to the economy is terrifying. Oh, terrifying? It, it already it, is terrifying. That's what I said, yeah. I thought. Um, but I mean, it's going to get much worse. I and mean, Fauci is not just about the disease, <clears throat> but how people function in the world. A whole bunch of sports teams are going to stop playing. The NAB has said they're not playing the rest of this well, season. Well, there are several more since they said that. Yeah. And um, and they move even the debate between Biden and Sanders has been moved from Arizona to Washington D.C. They announced this morning. Mm -hmm. Um, that uh, God, I can't even keep up with all the things that, you know, who's going to go to a movie? I'm not going. Well, if I want, if I really wanted to see a Broadway show, now's the time to do it because there are seats available for every performance at half price. Well, you know? yeah, I wouldn't. No, um, no, I wouldn't either. You know, uh, if I were, if I were uh, thirty, I probably would. You know, because your chances of survival are very good. But at our age, you know, I feel that this disease has targeted me. You know, well, targeted see, back you. Up, back up a minute to thirty-year-olds. They have to be just as careful as we are, because next thing you know, they're sitting next to you on the subway. Oh, right. No, of course. And so it's just because 30-year-olds don't die and 80-year-olds do, yeah. doesn't mean they should wantonly go anywhere and not worry about it. Now, we realize that the age category, older, they usually say, what, 70 and above? Something like that, maybe 60. Some said 50 and above. I don't know. You can't yeah. tell because the government says different things well, every day. It, although the mortality rate is higher among that group, or say for you and I, uh, how much higher is it than for younger people? Way higher. Way higher. Way higher. Okay. I don't remember the numbers and you can't trust them. But what, you know, a couple of responsible science types that I saw on television it is much, much higher. And that's because our immune systems don't function very well at our age, that we have all kinds of other underlying diseases. I have two very serious diseases that, yeah. you know, uh, and most old people, more old people have something underlying, whether it's heart disease or yeah. cancer or whatever, yeah. than 30 year olds do by, by magnitudes. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, you know, it, it's much, much higher. But we don't even know. I mean, like you said, you heard Fauci say seven people are infected by every infected person. I've never heard that number, but I have heard two to three. Mm. Um, and 
it's everybody's responsibility to keep this, do everything possible to keep this at bay. Somebody said this uh, in the last 24 hours on some program somewhere, that yes, if you're younger, you can say, well, my chances of dying from it are not higher. But the chances that you could give it to your grandparents and they could die from it are higher. And I said that. Yeah. And, and, and that's the point to remember, is that even as uncompromised as you may be, you're not, you, you, you have the ability to compromise other people. And that's it, plain and simple. And that's the horrible part about this particular affliction <clears throat> is because, you know, since we don't have the testing, we don't know who has that and who has the flu. And now what they've said is if you had the flu shot this year and you get something you think is the flu, it might be the coronavirus. But if you haven't had your flu shot, then it could be the flu. You know, uh, I haven't heard that. Don't yeah. don't don't say that as no, gospel. No, I heard that uh, from. Uh, well, I think it was, you don't know who did you hear it from? I think and how I heard it from. Fa I heard it from Fauci actually. I didn't haven't heard that. Yeah. I've been reading no, no, his. No, I've, I've I've heard that 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 uh, the that you're compromising other people if you have it. No matter. It doesn't matter if you're young and whether yeah. you have what until you know what you have, which nobody knows because there's so little testing. Yeah. Um, you know, you just, you have to be as careful as everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's uh, really up to us because nobody can do anything except just people walking well, around in their lives. Well, I'm not leaving it to our president. I'll tell you that right now. You know. Um, and, uh, and I don't understand the testing problem. I don't understand shutting down. He's shut down all travel to the U S from most European countries except the UK where he owns three golf resorts. Well, let's look at one other factor. If stopping people from coming here from countries that have the coronavirus, all right? Pretty is, much all it, countries it, do. Well, is going to prevent it. Then how come when we did it initially, very early on, we made that travel restriction from China, and apparently that didn't stop it, and nothing, no, travel restrictions aren't going to stop it now. Um, it's here. It's multiplying every day. Yeah. I mean, they've got the National Guard keeping people in a one-mile area of New Rochelle, for heaven's sake. Yeah. Um, because they have such a high incidence of it. Um, so it's here. I mean, you know, it's not going to, you know, maybe if it would stop a few people. But in general, the numbers go up by a couple of thousand here every day of infected people. Mm hmm and as um and what yeah that's from interior you know what there's a there's a phrase for it i keep forgetting but community community infection or something like that yeah yeah um and so i mean the thing is though that it's up to each of us to be responsible yeah to do everything we can to ourselves not get it and not to pass it to someone else Mm -hmm. um, and it's, uh, and I just hope, I mean, something like this hasn't happened since 1918. Right. At least we have more information about health and staying healthy than we did back then. Yeah. Um, but we still don't know how many people have it and how long it's going to go on and what it's going to do to the world economy. Um, and you know, Let's just assume it goes for a few months and then tapers off and pretty much stops. Mm -hmm. By then, everybody is out of habit of going to sports games and movies and theater and kids not going to school, all tele telelearning, whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, no gatherings of people that are more than a couple. I'm not so sure. Um, I want to go to a gathering of even... A few people because you don't you can have the virus for a while i don't know how long maybe a few days two or three or four days before you necessarily have symptoms so just because somebody isn't sneezing and coughing doesn't mean they don't have the virus well my uh, my wife you know works for a chinese company mm -hmm. and um uh, they're uh making everybody work from home right now you know mm -hmm. and uh what however 
one of the people, her bo big boss, um, came in from Hong Kong the other day. And I don't know how he managed to do that, but his family is in Singapore, and they can't get out. They can't, they, you know, he can't meet, he can't get to them. So he's going to have to wait for this to be over with. But, yeah. uh, I mean, it, it's, it's devastating on so many different levels. Uh, and on top of that, the stock market has taken a hit that, you know, it, it, this president, if he had the confidence of people, could have stemmed off a lot of that sell-off. But nobody trusts him. That's the well, problem. He, he also, it's not only not trust him now particularly, but he also doesn't know how to rally people to the necessities of what we need to do. He doesn't know how to do that. I think because he doesn't he, he doesn't have an empathetic bone in his body. He doesn't see this as danger to people. He sees it as a danger to him from being reelected. And also his bank bank account, which is not that great to he begin has with. One, if he I mean, has one, exactly. Well, I mean, he's stealing so much from us, you know, so maybe that's how he keeps going. Yeah. Um, uh, but, you know, you think about um, FDR, nothing to fear but fear itself, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Uh, you could think of was one of JFK's speeches that was so amazing. I don't remember which one. Um, that, that in times of big troubles, you want the leader to be there to reassure you to be doing the right thing, to explaining what is, be do yes. is being done and what our responsibilities are. And he does none of that. Well, I mean, it's a matter of rallying the nation, making the nation feel comfortable with the situation, say, yes, this is serious. We all have to do our part, but it's manageable. And, you know, here's how, here are the steps we can take. But there's no sense of confidence that you have in this man because he lies with everything he says, even his followers know he lies. So there's no confidence there. And this lack of confidence is the proof of the lack of confidence is the way the stock market has reacted to this because he's done nothing to abate the fear. You know. So. Do you think that this is going to change that solid 40% that net, no matter what he does, always sticks with him no but i don't think they're the ones who are going to elect him or not elect him uh and it isn't going to be the the lefties wait wait, wait 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 don't go too far back up to that why i think they are no wait a minute let me finish let me finish with what i'm saying uh i think that uh you know there's 40 percent that uh is with him it may be less than that it could be in the 30s somewhere and there are those who are against him, which may amount to another 40%, 50%. But there's a 30% in the middle, and that's going to be the difference. And it's a matter of how those people feel today as opposed to when they voted the last time. Which brings me to my final question of the day, because we probably could go forever on this. <laughs> which, which of these two guys do you think has the best chance? Biden. Biden? Okay. I agree with you. I agree with you on that. I think uh, I think if if uh, um, Bernie were to be, so, I think more so now that the coronavirus has exploded mm -hmm. here. I think more so Biden has the better chance now because I sense in myself, and I think is probably happening to other people because God knows I'm not unique, is that I want everything to settle down. We've got a terrible, terrible problem. It's going to last many months, and it's going to be hard to get through. Yeah. But following that, I, I, I just want it to be quiet and take care of everything yeah. that needs taken care of. Yeah. I don't want the constant sturm und drang of, of, of Trump. I, I, I just, it exhausts me even to think about it. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. Well, mm -hmm. you know, I, I just feel that. Uh, Bernie would be doing everybody a favor if he gave up now and we could get on with things. But let me just mention one thing and then we'll go. It was said that today Biden is going to make a statement on the coronavirus and that it's not going to be political. It's going to be presidential in nature. And somebody said this thing has given Biden the opportunity to look presidential, mm -hmm. you know. 
So, who knows? I this think may, it's one of the most important things. This but. may be the big audi audition. Anyway, it's starting to look dark where you are for some reason. I, the sun's very bright. Very bright. Well, it's on one side, and on the other side, you're looking darker than usual. Oh, well, the windows are on one side, and they aren't on the other. I should have had you turn on the light. Hey, listen, good talking to you. You're looking healthy. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, and uh, here's looking at you and hoping your CT scans are okay. And uh, we look forward to talking to you in a couple of weeks. Okay, take good care. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And, of course, uh, that is our uh, good old ex-wife, <laughs> Ronnie Bennett. And I hope you enjoy her. I, I know you do because I get a lot of really nice uh, comments about her. Let me see here. Let me, uh, let me, let me uh, get the uh, Skype opened up. Uh, and uh, we'll have a good hour of discussion with the, with the Citizen Panel. If you want to be part of it, you just uh, call us at uh, GabNet Live on Skype. GabNet Live, if you want the phone number, uh, let me go over here. I'll go look at it here for a quick second. There is a phone number you can use, 347-352-0079. That's 347-352-0079. If you need any of that information... Uh, you can go over to gabnet.net, and it's all all there. Okay, all righty. Okay, let me see here. Let me uh, let me uh, get uh, everything uh, together here. And oh, hey, I have to turn on my uh, make myself active so you can see that I am on, and that you can then call me and be part of the citizen panel. I'm feeling okay today. A little tired uh, as usual, uh, and my side is hurting me a little bit. But yeah, you know, outside of, uh, compared to what it could be, life's okay. Anyway, let's see here. That's Phil. Automatically, Phil goes into the bottom slot there, right there. That's where he was before, so that's where he shall stay when he calls. Hello, Phil. How are you? I'm fine. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling okay. You know, I mean, uh, it's, uh, you know, yeah, I mean... It, it, uh, better than I could be, you know, yeah. I, 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 worse than I could. No, wait a minute. I'm doing fine. I mean, if I had to complain, complaining compared to a lot of other people and what they go through and so on uh, is not the same as what I'm going through here. So it's not it's not really bothering me that much, you know. Huh. Uh, it could well, be worse. I'm glad could, it's tolerable. Yeah, could be worse. Um, but uh, let me see here. Wait a minute, I got to... I'm trying to get Tony get the get the uh, uh, Tony on here. Let me see here. Put him in the second slot, and there we go. Webhead. Okay, and then if Jeff wants to call, he'll. What's that? Jeez Almighty! I can't do anything right. Hold on a second. Webhead. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. What? I saw that you must have seen something that said OBS link. Yeah, web link. It's another it's part of the system that I don't use. Anyway, how are you all tonight? I went food shopping. It's, it was a madhouse bar. Stay away from me. Stay Did away you get from any me. toilet paper? <laughs> I got a lot of toilet paper. Why are people getting toilet paper? That's what I, I don't I think they're afraid they're not going to get a shipment. I was talking to the stock guy. Was well, toilet paper bad. come from China? I thought toilet paper came from, like, Oregon. I, I thought it came from my ass, to be honest with you, but, you know. I got, I got a lot. Yeah. You I would have thought price. Get, <laughs> you no. When you get up from the seat, it's, there's always some hanging off, you know. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I think they're afraid of deliveries. So, you know, I mean, I, uh, uh, I, I don't, I, but I can't understand why, why the run on toilet paper. It just doesn't seem to make much sense, does it? P.S., uh, because, you know, Amazon deliveries, UPS are getting people's signature when they drop off toilet paper shipments now because neighbors are stealing the toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is getting too goofy. Too goofy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't understand. I mean, to me, it makes no sense at all. Why? Why the toilet paper? Are people afraid that they're not going to be able to go get any, or they don't want to? Maybe, maybe they want to go home and they don't want to have to leave. That could be it. 
That's well, I got nice. plenty. I got enough for at least a month. Kevin? But she needs yeah, it, though. They think they're going to be locked up. Really? Yeah. I think we're going to be on lockdown. You know, there are so few cases. Yes, they're, they're growing. But if you do as instructed, you know, wash your hands, clean surfaces, uh, you know, don't cough on people. Yeah. Uh, you can still get it, Phil. Well, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. less. Phil, Phil, you're in, less, that, you're in yeah. that age group. It could kill you. Yeah. And I'm you're, you're also your health compromised because of the prostate operation. Do you know that the uh, head of the... But I'm uh, okay because med- it's known that radiation kills the oh. coronavirus. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you know that the head of Italy's uh, uh, medical, uh, like the CDC, whatever they call their CDC, uh, died today, 67 yeah. years old, coronavirus? Yeah. The, the head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, and and I'm I, 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 I'm waiting for the first member of our government to come down with it seriously and maybe die of it. We should start a board, huh? <laughs> yeah, he says. Uh, what, what is Death it? Pool. He does with the betting pool uh, for the for the. Oh, uh, oh well, yeah, you're not yeah. Oh, a dead pool. We a should dead do pool. it. Yeah. yeah, I got ten I got put twenty bucks a square. Yeah, hey, I think that Utah Jazz uh, basketball player said that he doesn't have the coronavirus and that he was joking when he touched the microphones and did all of those things that it was a joke. Oh, really? No, no, no. no. He 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 touched them all, not knowing he had the coronavirus, and then when this positive came back, he started apologizing. Yeah, oh, yeah really? he said he thought it was a joke. Oh, okay. So he actually is positive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay, let me see here. I'm I'm adding people to the crowd here. Hold on a second. Uh, then I gotta add. Uh, uh, let me see here. I'm go here to the number five, and uh, get um, uh, Mr. Zeller in here. And we have Rob Alfano waiting. Hold on a second, everybody. You shall I'm, see. I'm not them. taking my mother out for a while. Uh, there's uh, there's you, you literally should. no sports on anymore, and I'm just I know, going nuts. I can't be- I am going nuts. They'll they'll play last year's games, and you can always bet on those, and I bet you win. Okay, let me see Yeah, that'd be good. There we go. Okay. I mean, not even drag racing. I figured at least if you're inhaling nitromethane, at least it would kill it. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want their crowds to die. Well, um, let's see here. Uh, Some of the things that have been uh, uh, stopped. Uh, uh, NBA games, of course. I think the NHL is is withholding going to stop games. They're all everybody. Done. Yep. everybody. Uh, the um, the um, baseball, uh, the uh, Final Four, or whatever that's called, uh, is going to be March, played. March Madness. March Madness is going to be played, but without uh, without uh, audiences. No, 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 they, no, they, they shut it down. It. They, canceled it they canceled it completely. It. Oh, good. Yeah. Then, yeah. then my TV yeah. shows will be on. Oh, okay. There are there is no sports. Period. Baseball is baseball is canceled the first two weeks of the season to start. Yeah, but like New York right now, they have a a three a five hundred person maximum yeah. limit to congregate, which means you can't play baseball games in New York. So how are you going to have a, a season? Yeah, well, you know something when they say it, 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 there's a five hundred person yeah. limit, but where? I mean, if it's a five hundred person limit, in my apartment. You know, no, no, no. Well, I mean, five hundred person congregate con- congregating anywhere. Well, that, that's what cracked me up. Is I was in I was at Costco yesterday, and I went to I went to Costco to do my shopping, and of course I needed toilet paper, so that was a mistake. Yeah, and and I'm talking to the lady in front of me, going, I'm standing in this line for fucking toilet paper, and <clears throat> and I go, you know. They put a, 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 a rule out that you couldn't have more than 1,000 people in one place. There's at least 2,000 people in this fucking store trying to get toilet paper. <laughs> to get us all out of here. You know, with the, the with business that is going to be off for the next couple of months, you don't want to demonetize uh, Alex because if you do, then the, oh, it's... Oh, bleeping problem. toilet paper. Sorry. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, well, uh, I, 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 listen. I found out I, they sent a thing through uh, on on uh, to all the people YouTube. who are you know producers on YouTube that those of us who are monetized, there's a rule against something that has to do with uh, 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 news events or something that can demonetize you. 
Uh, mm. and the, but uh, they will not demonetize you if you talk about the coronavirus where they, were go- they would under that old rule. But mm. they're allowing us to talk about it. And I'm thinking... Geez, they better let us talk about it. I mean, this is important. Now, well, what I know I d- we slipped what? a couple of f bombs last night, and I got a commercial when we came on tonight. So yeah, but you're that's still good. He, yeah. That doesn't mean he gets money. There may be a commercial. Oh, I see. Okay. No, I no, I guess no, 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 no. They can't run a commercial if, if, if in other words, if the the content of the program is something an advertiser would not be happy with. They yeah. don't monetize you, and then they don't run commercials, although they will run some commercials for advertisers who don't care. Right, but okay. do you get any money from yes, that? Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm up to uh, $8.35 now. <laughs> Good. Well, you know, this is uh, something that needs to be in a positive side of the coronavirus is that GabNet is uh, co- corona-free at the moment, uh, you know, anyone that wants to join in on GabNet will not get the coronavirus from GabNet. Well, I've been having allergies today. I've been having allergies today. But every time I sniffle, I think, could it be the corona? You know? Yeah, yeah. You, you and me both. I was doing the same thing. Yeah. I, yeah. I got a flu shot a couple of days ago. And uh, yeah. I, uh, you know, my eyes watered a little bit. Mm-hmm. So uh, I said, oh, geez, maybe I should get tested. You, know? <laughs> but, you don't have kids yet, though, Phil. That's what they're worried about. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Brian Neary, a guy that calls the show, he was working on early on a, a DNA version of testing for the coronavirus. I don't know. Uh, I should ask him, you know, where he's at on that. But uh, uh, mm-hmm. you remember Brian. He, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, his yeah. company is, uh, processes tests through DNA. Mm-hmm. And, uh, that might be a very quick uh, way of, of getting the results. Well, uh, one of the things I don't want anybody to do on this program. Hi, Todd. How are you this evening? Uh, hey, how you doing? One thing that I don't want people to do is to give out any kind of medical advice here. You know, uh, well, you got Doctor Phil here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, I, I, but, but I, I don't want to do um, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, medical advice. Like I was noticing, Peach's courage. Who's one of the people who writes on our chat room thing? It's giving out medical advice. Oh, here's what to do. He was talking about breathing exercises, and he was talking about I don't know something else and uh, certain amino acids and so. On. I don't want I, I I and I took it off. I took it off because I didn't want I didn't want uh, I, I don't like medical advice to go out because with, we're not doctors. A, you know, with a name like Peaches, do you think it's a heat? Leave that to Jim Baker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, leave leave that. To, yeah, Jim Baker with his uh, what is that silver solution or something? Silver solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll cure anything. Yeah. Is he still alive? Oh yeah, he's still alive. He's on yeah, TV he's... again. He's got his ministry going again. But uh, but Tammy now... Faye was the one that went down for the count. What? Tammy Faye? Well, she no, died. She died. Alive. That's how she went she down did. for the count. Yeah, she went down, and he got another one to follow right in her footsteps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, I used to love their show. God, I used to love their show. Uh, I don't know how many of you ever watched it, but geez, that was that was pure entertainment every day. Yeah, yeah. Just like now, it's, he's been been replaced by watching a Trump press conference. You know, it's pure <laughs> entertainment. Do you know? Praise he, the Lord and pass your paycheck. When yeah. Doctor Gene Scott used to have his wife sing. You know, he says, oh, come on and sing, you know, and uh, then they'd raise some more money. Gene and... Scott was a piker compared to Tammy and Jim oh, he, Baker yeah. because the two of them, the it was, one, it was a great show. It was a great TV yeah. show, purely entertaining. They even had this one kid who, I don't know, had some kind of problem. I don't know what it was, but he couldn't walk and he was, a, he was his growth was stunted and he couldn't walk. You and had the same could, guy he, he, on he your could, show. He could only lie on his back, and he would roll onto the set and lie wow. there at their feet while they talked to him. And then when they built this uh, this uh, uh, Heritage, what, what Heritage. They, was it Heritage USA? Was that what it was called? Yeah, yeah, Heritage USA. Uh, they built a house called Kevin's House, and you could go see Kevin and all his other freak friends. Okay, and and you, like you would carnival. you would go you know, you would go visit this house, and here was like 
Kevin in his in a, in a wheelchair or lying there. I don't know what he was doing. And maybe the girl with one arm and the, somebody else who, who had a, a, eyes in the back of his head. And you, it was literally the freak show of Heritage USA. It was well, wonderful. They had a place for these kids that that needed stuff. I mean, you know, uh, in their own way, they were doing good. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, you could, uh, uh, you know, then he, uh, he, but but here's the thing. He, he got all this money from these people and said, I'm going to build you a, a religious theme park. And he did. And he built a big one, too. It was uh, huge. And so, you know, but the, uh, there are a lot of reasons. I, I wish somebody would write the whole story on how it, Jim Baker fell da uh, he down. He got busted for selling condos there, and he sold more no, condos. No, that had, nothing, had that had nothing to do with it. He, he wasn't doing any stealing from anybody. It was uh, a sex scam. It was, no, it, it, was, it was the people who, was, who were working with him, and, and, and they were the ones who were doing the stealing. Investors in the theme park and he sold more than a hundred percent of the theme park that i think that's what it was no that wasn't what they got him on they they got him on the whole jessica hahn thing that's what Gen they got him on and and that's also right. because that happened his whole religious thing fell apart no, it was a different guy no oh, i remember this no better it, than jessica you do hahn phil because i yes. watched it every day you watched it too yeah. right rob which which Jessica Hahn was from the church right around the corner from where I lived. She went to, when I lived in Seaford on Long Island, Massapequa, Seaford, she, she attended the, the church right there on Jerusalem Avenue. That's how I know of her. And yeah, that's what happened. She had an affair with Jim Baker. They met in a hotel room and well, blah, who was blah, the blah. other other preacher that had an Jimmy affair? Swagger. You're talking Swagger. about Swagger. Swagger was a different situation altogether. That was Jerry Lee Lewis's cousin. Yeah. yeah. And he wanted to have sex with a woman and her thirteen year old daughter. Yeah. Yeah. And he that was a different deal altogether. But what happened with Jim Baker was he got hit in the middle of this scandal. And yeah. Uh, okay, let me. I got to explain a little history here. What what Baker had that every evangelist wanted was early on he saw the value of satellite transponders, and so he had a a, a couple of transponders. And by the time all these other religious guys like Falwell and Swaggart and so on wanted to get into the satellite business, the transponders were all sold. So the only way they could get one is if they stole one from somebody. So what, so what Swaggart and um, Falwell convinced, uh, uh, um, what's his name to do, um, uh, the guy we're talking about, Jim Baker to do, was th it put, the, put the transponders in their name and they would hold them in trust until he got this whole legal thing taken care of. Well, they took it, but they never gave it back. And it was a scheme to get Jim Baker out of the business because he was the most successful guy in it. And nobody's ever written that story. And it's an amazing story of just duplicity. And among, among people who call themselves really religious people. And of all these people, the Bakers were the most legitimate. That well, was, that was the fun, interesting part about it. What happened with the heritage and the and the overselling of the shares? It wasn't an overselling of shares. He sold shares, and you could buy a share, and you could get like a couple of days or something a year. I don't think he oversold the shares. That was not the issue. That was not yeah. the big issue. Uh, the, the big issue was Jessica Hahn. To tell you yeah. the damn truth, that's what kicked it all off. And then it led to other things like the fact that they saw that a lot of money that had been sent to this place what had, had gone missing because they would come in cash and people who were working there would just go into the back room and take a scoop full of money home with them. Mm. You know, uh, if, if, if they were guilty of anything, it was not watching the store, trusting well, other people to do it. Joel Osteen is not going to well, have well, service. Oh, I was going to say there's good news to the coronavirus. Joel Osteen is not going to be able to hold services. So right. that, that's, that's, that not, that's the good news. Yeah, I hate Joel Osteen. God, he's disgusting. Uh, what what is the magic of that guy? Hi, Todd. How are you doing? How are you keeping away from the coronavirus? Are you just driving really fast to do it? And 
Yeah, I'm staying away as much as I can. I've um, just been driving and working, and my truck was in the shop again, and I, that's the reason why I wasn't on the other day. So, you know, I got it squared away now, so yeah. back on the road. Let me ask you this. How's, it, how's this affected your business? It's got to have affected your business. Yeah, it's getting bad. It's getting real bad. Um, there's less freight. A lot of companies mm-hmm. now... Uh, Shutting down, closing the doors. Yeah. Uh, there's one that uh, got rid of a, like uh, all of the truck drivers. They just they're done. So. Uh, uh, fuel is supposed to go down uh, very shortly because the price of oil has gone down to about thirty or thirty one dollars a barrel, and uh, which is the lowest we've seen in years uh, because of the uh, Russia Saudi Arabia beef. And uh, the thing so, you don't seem to realize, I mean, Phil, this isn't yeah. this isn't good news, because the, no. that the, the good news is the oil is down. The bad no news reason. is you won't need to buy it because you're not driving your car anywhere. Well, you got nothing to put on the truck, you, you and he's got fuel. nothing to put on the truck. So don't tell him the fuel is cheaper now. Yeah, it'd be wonderful if it was cheaper now, and he could be driving a, big loads to various places. But that's not the case. So. You know, I, but do we have Trump to thank for the low oil prices? Is that what you're saying? We have Putin and uh, King Farouk or whatever his name is. Who hate each other. Yeah. 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 Who hate each other. Uh, who's the king of Saudi Arabia now? S- Salman? The king of Scotland. I don't know. Salman <laughs> Rushdie. I don't know. I can't remember <laughs> his name. I'm losing track. RS, RS, RSM, I think they call him. RS something. Yeah, uh, is that the the prince or the, the prince uh, is, is or R- the supreme leader there? RS is is the prince. Yeah, but anyway, um, but um, uh, I, I you know I mean it, 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 the fact is today, God, uh, the stock market went down almost ten percent. One I'm day down, since my investment, mm-hmm. uh, the week, I am down eighteen percent. Really, I'm down. I'm, I probably I've lost maybe close to, I'd say maybe ten, fifteen thousand dollars. Well, uh, I started with a thousand. Uh, I bought three shares of uh, one stock and two shares of another. They were index funds for the Dow. Mm-hmm. I'm down a hundred and ninety dollars. Really, so, <laughs> hundred and ninety bucks. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, it, it was a, it's a good experiment. I'm going to leave it there. Well, I, I, if, 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 I'm not moving mine anywhere soon yeah. unless we have to pay more lawyers. And I told Marjorie we're going to have to find the money elsewhere because I'm not cashing in my, right. my Vanguard right now. i got to let it rebuild, you know. That's uh, what I bought, Vanguard and, uh, and Fidelity. Yeah, well, um, 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 Vanguard's done very well for me, but... Um, you know, this is just, this is terrible. I mean, uh, I'm scared, really. The way it's it's horrible. All these, what's in all of these uh, downturns, um, yeah. and 20 bear markets that we've had since, I think, 1940, uh, on average, the market goes up 14% uh, uh, within a, a reasonable period of time, mm-hmm. within maybe two years. So it'll, well, it'll come uh, back. Phil, just, Phil, Phil, it may come back, but maybe not fast enough for me. Uh, and it, it and and what you say may well be true. On the other hand, we're right back where we started. You know, anything that Trump oh claims he gained was gained in the stock market while he was in office has been obliterated. He can't be blamed for this. He but. can be blamed for it, Phil, because the son of a bitch didn't make America have confidence. Well, he didn't know uh, how to instill I, confidence. I, Listen to me. He did not know how to instill confidence in the American public and make them believe that this thing will be okay. Calm down, America. He was well, not the person who was able to do it. Well, that was his message. Uh, but, uh, yeah... The, I, uh, Every know. time he gives a speech, the stock goes down another 2,000 points. Didn't you think he was going to say chinks last <laughs> night? During the, <laughs> he was, <laughs> he, blame him. he was this close to saying the Chinese. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. It's one of those stock traders that has, you know, that gets up in the morning and has all of these programs and, and so forth. And he said in the last couple of weeks there were three of these indicators where the, uh, where the 10-year and the 2-year flip mm-hmm. and uh, he says that is a signal of recession, 
and uh, he got out of the market. Uh, so here we go. Here, here's what happens. The Republicans gets in, in control. We go into a deep recession, and the Democrats will pull us yeah, out. And the Democrats go, oh, vote for me, vote for me. Okay, we'll vote for you. Then they vote for them, and, of course, they inherit the downturn. What yeah. goes up must go down, and what goes so down. So why is it always the Republicans? Yes, but you have to understand. When it falls apart, F Phil. Is that Phil, just luck? Is that just luck? He who yeah. lives by the sword. He, he who lives by the sword dies by the sword. Mm -hmm. And in this case, the sword that uh, Trump has been living on is: look how wonderful the economy is doing. Well, it's gonna it's gonna hurt him. You guys should be rolling around and laughing and having a good time. So, you know, if it wasn't my retirement money, I would. But, yeah. yeah, well, you know, I mean, I'm living on a fixed income, and that money I, I number one, could have used for this legal de defense, and uh, I'm not going to cash it in now because I don't want to lose that money. It's, well, it's, a, it's, uh, it's terrible, and it's and the reason for it is, Phil, that you have a president who somehow has, uh, the more he talks to the public, the worse things get. Well, well I, because we don't trust anything. He when says. Even his supporters uh, Biden don't gave him said. the best piece of advice anybody could give him the other day when he shut said up. the president should just shut up. Hey, that's the problem. Uh, like the other night, he was talking, right? I yeah. forgot what speech he was. And Anthony Fauci, the, Fauci, the head guy, yeah. right? Yeah. Is after he's done talking, Trump, he basically contradicted everything he said. Like. You know right. what he's doing, Phil, that's wrong? He's talking out of his ass. He's basically yeah. trying to calm everybody down. But there is a problem. Maybe he he, he shouldn't even be there talking at certain Because point. nobody you know trained. You no. know why he does that? He does that, Tony, because the most important thing to him is not what happens. It's that he's not blamed for it. Hey, I, I have something cute to say. Well, are you going to um, take us hey, off the t topic? No, it's with the topic. Yeah. I was walking my dog, and <laughs> Charles Schwab is, is just across the park from mm -hmm. where I live. Mm -hmm. So we walked into Charles Schwab, and I looked up at the board, and I said, Ella, no dog food today. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, uh, it, 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 what, what, uh, I'll tell you what was really funny. Here, here, yeah. here's, here, here's Trump for you. He's given a speech, I don't know, maybe it was today. Yeah, I think he was sitting there with uh, uh, with uh, the Prime Minister of, of uh, Ireland or something. And he's talking about the coronavirus situation, and he says, and there have been instances, uh, so many instances of this of the coronavirus, or as they call it in the medical trade, cases. And I'm thinking... Well, Matt, really? The, the, Are you? I learned something from the president today that you call somebody who's got the virus a case, not yeah. an incident, not a uh, happening, not did, a perchance. It's it's a, a little case. insight for you there. Yeah. Did the Brazilian president try to assassinate Trump the other day? Yeah, yeah. I mean by trying to infect him yeah, by shaking his hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who, um, let's see here, well, we, sure so far the only movie people are uh, Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson. Yeah, my sister told me, I thought she was joking. Why? They're in Australia. You know what's funny? My sister says they got the test faster in Australia than they were date here. Well, they, yeah, they, you know they, why that is, don't you? Because the WHO actually offered it to the United States, but the United States said, no, we got it covered. And then oh, they administered their test fired and him. our test was bogus. And, and, and on top of that, Trump goes on the air today and he says, and uh, by Friday or something, we're going to have four million tests. Yeah, and I'm yeah, thinking to myself, sure. and, how many, and how many do we need if we want to test <laughs> everybody in America to see who's got <laughs> it and who doesn't have it? 330 million? Look at it, yeah. Let's be honest. I'm not believing the house. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I don't never, leave the house. I, I don't work I, from home. I don't go anywhere. Where did we get those? I never thought I'd go out this way. <laughs> did we get those defective tests from China? No. Yeah, four no. things of peanut butter. Actually, China, uh, 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 the, the, it's turned around for China. And the reason it's turned around for China. They lock it down. Well, because they, they are, they're, uh, they, you know, they're, uh, they're an authoritarian country. And they say, this is what's going to happen, and here's how it's going to be done, and you're going to do it that way. 
right? I, Maybe and they closed yeah, off. They were snatching them up and throwing them in the back of trucks and saying, I, "You're going into this building until you're better." Yeah, and they, I, they I, closed I, down I, Wuhan I, and all of that, and they managed to turn it around. Yeah. You good with that? Hmm? Maybe we should be like that for the way. Nobody. I'm, I'm comfortable staying home for a month. <laughs> I watch cartoons and TV. <laughs> and our our president is not letting uh, anybody in from other countries now, uh, which is stupid because the virus is here already. I got who did he, <laughs> didn't he hear about it? It's here. You want him? We got it. it. What is it about? Let them all in now. <laughs> it's you want like minute. everything else. Kids. Always too late, late to the party. Yeah, yeah, always too late to the party. He closed down China. What two two and a half months ago? Travel from there, and it still got yeah. here. Yeah, but nowhere near. You see, the South Koreans uh, are the uh, did a good job of, of turning turning the stuff around, and uh, because they had enough you know, tests. Well, not only did they have enough tests, but they they got a handle on it early. Uh, uh, now I don't remember exactly what they did at this moment. Uh, something I uh, said the other night about uh, North Korea that by being so isolated, they're probably safe from it. But it yeah. turns out they've had something like 250 deaths so far. Uh, and and that's North just Korea. from Kim Jong-un not being happy with them. <laughs> he doesn't even have to kill his people anymore. They just can do they themselves. They kill themselves, yeah. <laughs> they weren't sick. Don't shoot them. They're just gonna, don't waste the bullets. Just shake hands. With yep. They became contaminated. He just threw them over the border. Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. They ran out of bullets. <laughs> this but, is crazy. But, I never thought I'd see something. You know, like I'm, like I'm worried about it because I feel like, uh, you know, uh, the coronavirus has a bullet to my head because yeah, of my age. Look at, look at Jeff. Jeff, how do you feel about it? I mean, you got a, a heart condition. Mm -hmm. uh, you're over the age of, they say the age they're saying is over 55. Something over like that. 55, that's yeah. for sure. Well, just wash your hands, put away your toys, and make your bed. But that's, that, you know, that it's still a. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well I'm pre-infected. Pre I'm already pre-infected. You're pre-infected. Why? Uh, well, I've got an infection in my leg already. Oh, okay. It's well, festering. Well, then uh, how many infections can you have at one time? Who, you know? Uh, you that's know? true. I'll yeah. just tell it not to come here. Yeah, right. Uh, yes, Jeff, what are you going to say? Well, what I really uh, am concerned about is I'm going home uh, over this weekend. And I tell you, maybe I'll stay in the basement, and my wife will be upstairs, and we'll uh, talk each other. <laughs> but don't touch each well, other. Well, I went out of the house today. I, 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 I went out of the house today, and I went down to just buy some bread at the store, okay, and a few other little things. And I took hand sanitizer with me. Oh, I got the PRL. I found some. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> oh, it, was, it was very funny, though. I was watching. I cleaned myself so much. Did, did anybody see that the Bernie Sanders had a uh, press conference or, or a speech he gave today, which was very, it was terrible. It was very ineffective. Uh, did anybody see it or hear it? Yeah. I was stepping I down and uh, he was losing. What? No. He said he was stepping <laughs> down? No, he didn't. Oh, wow. He said he was going to continue the fight, and oh. he's not going to step down, and and he's losing the delegate battle. So you know, well, I, it, well, it's here here crazy. here was the funny thing about it. Uh, I guess nobody can really see my microphone, but let's say m my microphone is is here. There, mm -hmm. There's a woman that came over to adjust his microphone before he went on, and she went over to it like this. <laughs> Trump had a hot mic well. moment uh, uh, where he said the F word uh, because he got some ink on his sleeve and and they and the mic was hot and uh, he, he said you know, oh F and uh, uh, so and they caught it on 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 the hot mic. Uh, it was C. It was uh, C span. Well, you're an idiot if you've got a microphone attached to you as he does. And, well, it's second time. Uh, you know. Oh, well, it happens all the time. He says he says, he says words and speeches now. You know what oh. president? He, what president is that coarse? The oh. Billy Bush thing was a hot mic. Yeah. Because they had him wired for the interview, mm -hmm. and they didn't turn it off. Well, you know, I, I guess he's he's into his wardrobe, and you get ink uh, on when your. I, when I when I was working television, yeah, and I would we would go out on a shoot, and I would be wired, right, with the with the wireless laugh. If I went to the bathroom, 
I knew where that switch was on my side, and I mm. clicked it off. And I went right. to the bathroom, and when I came out, I clicked it back on. If you're a professional, you know to do that. Uh, Trump right. is a professional, but he also happens to be a moron. <laughs> which one's the ball? <laughs> yeah, which one's the ball? The <laughs> one. <laughs> Many a persons even caught uh, Ronald Reagan uh, when he did a oh, sound like check. That. Said, uh, "Well, that was a sound check." He, 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 yeah, that. But that was he was really? joking. You know yeah, that. It, joking. You know he said, uh, "I'm here to I, announce it in five minutes we're going to bomb Russia." You know mm -hmm. uh, he said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was and a test. He was around. testing the microphone, but somehow it was uh, it went out over the air or something like mm -hmm. that. You know, yeah. but no, nobody's going to believe something like that. But you know, Russian I, did. Hmm? Trump said that they probably all hide under the table. <laughs> <laughs> I think he had to call Gorbachev. Yeah, yeah, and it was a joke. Yeah, um, yes, uh, Jeff. Yeah, so my uh, grandkids are all going to school at home. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. School. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. There's no more school. Well, the reason you don't want them going to schools is because schools are cootie factories. Any parent will tell you that the first couple of years their kids are going to school, they have more colds personally than they've ever had in their life. Because oh. these kids go to these cootie factories and they bring back everything. But that's good because that's how kids get immunity. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's not, uh, it, it, you know, it, it's, uh, it's not good. Tomorrow, we're installing a daycare center, Friday, sat Saturday, and Monday. We're, we're doing all the floors in the daycare center. So when they rip up the old floors and they bring them back to my dumpster, I'm sure it's going to be full of cooties. Yeah. That's great, yeah. yeah. You better Purell tomorrow, I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, uh, you know, you can get mugged for that Purell. Actually, you know, Purell is good. You know, it's fine. It's, it's simple. It's effective. But... Just as effective as washing your hands for 20 seconds with soap and mm -hmm. water. Yeah, but you can't always get near the sink. Right. Like, I, I was thinking, if I had to go to a meeting right now, mm -hmm. you know, meetings, people want to shake hands. And not, yeah. even if you don't shake oh, hands, you, you're in a conference room, You got, you, but you're in a conference room, mm -hmm. and you put your hands on the table, and you're touching arms on the chairs and stuff. Yeah. you got to get to your car, and you, you want to, you know, Purell while you're in the car before you start driving and touching your steering I'm wheel and... I'm using my key to push the elevator button. Oh, and, that's what they say. Or I'm not touching the key. I'll only use the door getting out of the lobby that opens the way I want to go in or out so I can lean against it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not touching the railings on anything. Look, uh, you know, chances are, okay, if you mm -hmm. did nothing, none mm -hmm. of these preventative things, your chances of getting it are not huge. But well, still, they're saying one third of the the one third of the country could get it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Three hundred uh, out of three hundred three hundred and thirty million, ten percent could get it. Oh, wow. Okay, so thirty three million. So that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that they're thirty three. I mean that ten percent are going to die. No, but maybe ninety thousand. You know, eighty eighty percent will be just fine and all that. The other twenty percent. You know, maybe ten percent will be in the hospital on a respirator, and the other ten percent won't make it. I'm sure some it, people hey, have. I'm sure some people. Like I'm sure some people have a natural immunity. You know, right. I mean, they they just they just have a good immune system, right. and and it'll right. fight it off, or it'll just be a. It, it some people get it, and it's just like a small little flu that you get. Right. The thing is, and this was a good reason to go get your flu shot this year. If it. you feel you have flu symptoms, well, it could be the flu. Yeah. Mm. But it could be the coronavirus. Now, how do you know the difference? Well, if you've had the flu shot and you feel like you have the flu, you may probably have the coronavirus. So get oh. yourself to the hospital. But the, having the flu shot sometimes, because what they're basically doing is giving you flu, is you get some of they're those saying symptoms. saying this year's flu shot will protect you from all the flus that are going around right now, that if you suddenly get flu symptoms and you've had the flu shot, is a good chance you might have the coronavirus. That's what they're saying. I'm just repeating what I've heard. And I heard that the one big symptom is the high fever for the coronavirus. It's right. a high fever, like 103, they're saying. Well, no, sometimes... It, it, is this, that one of the key signs? This is the problem with it. it it's not all the same for the, for the same oh, people. 
Jeff and I could get it. We could run 104 degree temperatures and be dead tomorrow morning. Right. You could get it, Tony. And uh, because of your age, or, or Todd, who looks like a pretty healthy guy. How old are you, Todd? 45, I 45, think. 45, yeah. You, you know, you'd survive it pretty They're easily. survivors. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, there are, there. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm at risk. Okay. Yeah. Plain They're and very simple. Young and the and people over fifty. Yeah. That's why well, there yeah. was a there was a guy that was on the Princess Cruise that posted that he was sick and he was in isolation, mm -hmm. and he posted the uh, actually the ex police chief of town here posted this <laughs> thing, and he was uh, he said he actually got the virus and he posted the symptoms and he says this is what it's like to have the coronavirus. And he got a temperature of 103. Mm -hmm. He basically, that's all, the, that's all he had. And yeah. he was uh, dehydrated for about two or three days, I believe he said it was. And that was about it. And all they gave him was a lot of Gatorade. Gatorade, you know, yeah. that's like to keep your thing up so you don't... Yeah, to keep his, his, his um, dehydration up. Too, yeah. And then it just kind of faded away. And his wife was with him and she didn't get it. Well, he may have been. So the question becomes: Is can can he get it again? Ooh, that's uh, I don't know that. That they don't know that yet. You see, the thing is, we that know is so little about box. this. Mm -hmm. We know so little about this. I mean, this vi the coronaviruses have been around for quite a while. We may have had yeah. one in our time, yeah. give or take I a few. I understand but that this, on but, the ice bowl can. Uh, they say that it's good for coronavirus, and I and I understood there was an Israeli company that was working on a chicken. Uh, a vaccine against the coronavirus, and supposedly they were bringing that vaccine very quickly to uh, uh, to the public use and testing on humans. Well, it, it it may be too late for the dead people. Okay, uh, the point is that we are not in this country ready for this, uh, and uh, we uh, we've known for some time that eventually some kind of pandemic was going to take place. I mean, this may not, this may be a mild one compared to what's down the road. Oh, sure. but, and that's but, all the more reason to gut the CDC, take funding away. So also that, gotta, that makes gotta, perfect sense. It made perfect, perfect sense for the president to, right. to gut the uh, CDC, yeah. Right, I, absolutely. It, no, it's a reason not to depend on China, because with China, oh, uh, Phil, uh, Phil, you know, Phil. they... Phil, let's, let's, not, let's, not, let's not assign blame to the Chinese. Whatever they've done, they've done. The fact of the matter is, let's assign blame to ourselves for not being ready for something like this. And when it first reared its ugly head in January, we didn't do anything about it. Fauci right. said that, and Fauci has been uh, the head of that. Uh, thing over many presidents, I think Clinton uh, uh, on up, and uh, he said that they made a mistake and they weren't ready. You can't blame Trump for the CDC's mistake that they even admitted wait a minute, to. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Fauci isn't part of the CDC. Uh, he's the, uh, he's the, uh, yeah, he, isn't he no. the head of the CDC? No, he's not. What's he the head of? He is part of a advisory committee, I believe, to the president, and he's yeah. been an advisory to, to this president and to uh, Obama, and I think uh, to Bush before Clinton. him. Yeah, and uh, and and Clinton. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought no, his, he's, he's not his, part of the C, he's not part of the CDC. Well, he's saying that uh, they they weren't ready for this. They never expected something like this. And you know, if these are the guys well, that are first, first, we but we knew about it in January, and here we are in. Uh, in uh, March, and we still haven't done much of anything. Well, in January, he's the director. Trump. He's the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Oh, okay, close enough. Well, no, it's hey. not close enough. The CDC <laughs> is is is, a is, a, is an organ of the federal government that yes. is a private organization that he's the head of, which Trump has taken great pride in defunding. Yeah. Right. You can't work if you don't have the tools to work with. They just gave Mayton a quarter billion dollars. Uh, so. well, just gave him. Late. That's like just gave him now. That's like uh, that's like pour, that's pouring water on a raging fire. Um, Trump also closed the border uh, closed the borders to the Chinese in January mm -hmm. when uh, when this thing first uh, came up. And also the Chinese weren't giving us proper data. They they yeah, were they were holding back. I think. Yeah, they were holding back information, and uh, and it got worse because of that. 
right? Well, I'll tell you, you're quick to blame it. everybody but Trump. Yeah, yeah. You? Well, are you going to blame Trump for any of this, Phil? No. Nah. <laughs> no. Okay. Nah. The right thing. A matter of fact, when he did that to China, everybody called him a xenophobe, and uh, and and uh, they called him every name under the book. But now, uh, even Fauci says, you know, he did the right thing. <laughs> That's so. Uh, the broken clock is right twice a day. It was day. interesting. With Fauci, all the other bumbling moves he's made, he made one. Right let's move. pay attention to Fauci for a second. The first time he appeared with the president, he seemed to be very conciliatory towards him. Seemed to be very. Um, uh, nice to him in that yeah. in that thing, saying nice things about what the president was doing and so on. As the time has gone on, every time you see him with the president, he's got a sour look on his face. And he starts saying things like, well, that isn't exactly true. This is what okay. is true. Uh, and uh, I think in the beginning, he felt by cooperating with the president, the president would go along with his ideas and with his thoughts but because the president hasn't, now he realizes he's on his own. Well, we'll see. You have a president, Phil, who has failed the American public horribly in a very disastrous moment. This is the very kind of moment that we were hoping that he'd be able to work through. And I, and I think he is. And, uh, but do you think that Biden's going to do a better job? Yes, I mean, absolutely. Just, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. His, his speech was so empty. You know, it was it was like uh, it was like Nixon. Where well, he when says, did I he give his speech? When did he give a speech? Which speech are you talking about? Uh, t- uh, today, I believe uh, he made a uh, he made what was last night. He made a pres- a speech that was supposed to be very presidential mm-hmm. and that uh, uh, any he, and he blamed. Trump. He says it wasn't going to be political, but uh, it was very political. Did anybody and, hear it? I didn't hear it. Any- I heard a little bit. And I'm going to tell you, I don't kind of I didn't really like the way. Like, given the whole idea that we're surrounded by a pandemic, I didn't like how he made political theater Biden. I thought he should have not said anything. He tried to make, you know what I'm saying? I thought people are worried. Mm-hmm. You know what? Is it really the place of time to make a political theater about your campaign? He can't help himself. He can't help himself. He, he I thought would, taking a back Trump. Seat, come you know, on, let, come if on, Trump's going to crumble, let him just do it. But Phil, it was gonna be if you're, special, Phil, help himself. Phil, if you're gonna if you're gonna cast stones at that kind of thing on one side, your guy does it t- times ten. I, I so believe- you can't you can't do you you have no gain here. To okay, say wait, anything. A minute, wait a minute. So you can use a whataboutism, but I can't. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, you know, because you're saying, well, this guy does it, so that guy does it. That's a whataboutism, and that's that. And every time I do that, I get called on the carpet by that's Alex. Because, that's because that's that's <laughs> because you never, ever, ever say anything. Well, you know, Trump shouldn't have done that. You always, you are one hundred percent. You're an apologist. You don't ever. Th- th- he's never done anything wrong. Oh, he he's had, never lied. Never. So oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you're an apologist for him, Phil. No, I, I believe what uh, he said. You would have more credibility with this audience if occasionally you said, well, you know, I, I don't agree with him That's on that. That's what I mean. One. It's the credibility factor. With this audience, if, if I stood on my head and lit myself on fire, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you've got people that comment. No, you're very, that, the problem with you, <laughs> Phil, is you're predictable. Well, it's because I, that's my position. You know, and so, yeah, so, that position, and I defend that position. So, but you hear us all the time saying things like, you know what, maybe Biden shouldn't have said what he said. And we, you know, I don't think any of us are in love with any of these candidates, but you are uh, 100% like Trump is walks on water. I, yes. Uh, I mean, the stock fact, market goes down 8,000 points, and you don't uh, say the president terrible. could have prevented no, that by not. being more presidential? No, it was it was coming, but... Oh, but, I see. Okay, it was coming, so we all had to come to this. Hey, come on. Even Trump, I know you haven't done that. You don't do that. Trump taught Moses how to part the Red Sea. Oh, <laughs> you're so full of shit. He had a gum behind his back. Sorry, but <laughs> Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Todd's Stay been somewhat crap. quiet. Do you have anything you want to say, Todd, or is this just <laughs> disgusting you? Um, yeah, well, I don't know what stuff Phil is smoking, but he needs to share because um, That's what I was gonna say too there, brother. <laughs> there you go. Because Trump, I mean, he just uh I understand what you're saying about, you know, Bernie or, or Biden, and we often say the things they do wrong. But Phil, man, your boy does everything 
nine times out of ten wrong, and you don't say nothing. I like. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you, man. I don't think it's wrong. You know. Well, uh, you know. I mean, I sit here and I. I, That's not right. I've heard him say Trump's done stuff wrong, and now he's saying he hasn't said that. That's just like Trump, though. Yeah. Thank you. Saying that. The things that he does, I don't like the things he tweets. I think that he could be in better command of uh, of his communications. You know, he's got the bully pulpit, pulpit, and he should be able to get across his points. But uh, he he attacks a lot now. But that's his way. I understand that. You hit him, he's going to hit you back ten times harder. The problem with the Republicans and the reason they lost, McCain lost, and and Romney lost is because when they got hit, they took the punch. And they said, well, we if we fight back, that's lowering ourselves to that level. Well, Trump is a street fighter. Well, wait a minute. And in, I'm not... in, both, in both cases, in both cases with McCain mm-hmm. and then with Romney, you had two people who were going up against Obama, and I don't think Obama ever punched at them. The DNC I, did. But I'm saying Obama, uh, Obama well, didn't. didn't. Obama to... was a very decent... Right. Obama didn't have to. He had the DNC and all his talking. Uh, well, well, what, heads. what was the DNC doing? Who, who, who at the DNC? Uh, what was the name of the guy that's uh, Carville? He was one of them. Yeah, Carville James hasn't Carville. been in, at the DNC. I don't he was think there he, for I Clinton. Don't, I don't, he was there for Obama he, one. He, he was there for Cl- he was there for Clinton, and he wasn't there for Obama one. No. And and uh, no. you know. There, there were many You're people. You're not naming were, anybody. Uh, Name an instance look, where the. Okay, let me tell you what they said. They, they came after Romney, saying that uh, when he was at Bain Capital, he did this, he did that, he did all sorts of negative things. Uh, uh, there, there was a, a number of, of memes put out against both of these men uh, to f- put them in a negative light. Oh, and Trump did, hasn't didn't do that to Hillary. Yeah, of course he did it to Hillary, and I'm not saying it was right, but what I'm saying is, is that when he gets hit, he hits back. He He's does hit back. He's Romney and McCain did so not would. No, but you know when he hits Trump. back also, unfortunately, Phil, he also hits back when no one has struck out at him. Well, some, they, they do strike out at him. fight with a dead man. That was terrible. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, any time you're going to hit him, He's going to come back ten times harder. Yeah, he went out after McCain after McCain was dead. How about the gold star? <laughs> Believe me, Phil. Bullies do not. Bullies, him being bullies a don't. Street fighter pick. is not right. He, he is not a street fighter. You put that guy out on the street, he ain't going to last a minute. I'm not talking about throwing punches. I'm talking oh, about uh, just anything. He's uh, he, uh, no standing up, standing up and protecting himself. Yeah, yeah. Get his ass kicked. Rob, because if any hand. one of those Republicans would turn around and challenge him, he'd get his ass kicked. Does Rob have his hand up? Or no, just, are you just, just being com- just being comfortable? Yep, just being comfortable. Being comfortable. Yeah. Everybody's afraid of him. Hey, hand uh, up is over here. Yeah. Hey, I've talked enough. It's time for you guys to. I don't want to monopolize. <laughs> no, really. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. We only have four minutes left in the show, but that's nice of you, Phil. Goes <laughs> very quickly. Take another minute. Go ahead. Yeah, no, it goes very quickly. Um, uh, let me see here. What else? What else? Um, uh, uh, what else was I watching today? That? Uh, oh, yeah. We had our our mayor here, Bill De Blasio. Uh, declared a, declared a state of emergency here, and he's got my sister going to school still. He hasn't closed the schools. Yeah, yet. I don't he understand what how do how, what kind of state of emergency? I mean, what's he what's he doing? Is, I, he doesn't want large gatherings, but he's got all the little children going to school tomorrow. How about all those guys in New Rochelle? You know, uh, right. you know why they want to send the kids to school? It's Tony? a day camp. No, you know why they want to send the kids to school because in so many places. Money. No, because so many places in New York City, if the kids don't go to school, they don't eat. That's where they get two meals a day. That's true. That's yeah. So, uh, you know, it, 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 it's, just, it's a rough situation all the way around. Being handled rather poorly, I think, by the government. I'm going to blame both sides. I think I heard today, I heard today that Nancy Pelosi and Trump yeah, aren't, will, aren't talking to each other. Can we pass this bill to get some? Yeah, how do you run a country if you don't this? talk to each other? You know, 
Well, um, Nancy Pelosi's trying to put a bunch of stuff in that bill uh, that did, did Trump I, says they've been trying did, to get in there. Did I hear, have I heard, am I hearing Phil's voice? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> oh, yeah. He like he hates Nancy, Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He throws dots at the picture. I can yeah. see it. Uh, uh, but, I mean, I just think that... Uh, but can't they do anything right? They, they can't they, get they, along. This is a time for nonpartisanship, okay? This is a time for us to get together and to solve this problem. A bit late, a bit late, but at least to minimize what disastrous circumstances might exist. Uh, and they can't even get together on that, you know? I mean, it all becomes a, a, another a bitch-slapping fight. It's, this is, this is a way for the Republicans to take back Congress. Do I hear a voice? Yes. I, oh. If, if, if a congressman gets the coronavirus, the Republicans could possibly take the yeah. respect. Well, yeah. you know, I mean, I just think that um, um, all that's happened is an absolute disaster for this country uh, on so many levels, on so many levels. And even more so a disaster for the world, who is suffering greatly from this thing. And every country is trying to minimize the effects of it for good reason, that they don't want it to be uh, uh, terrible. You know, they don't want it to get worse. They don't want their countries to be the country that becomes the, the real hot spot in the world. Like uh, Italy. Well, in, in, like Italy, but Italy is taking rather draconian measures by telling all businesses that are non-essential to close down. They're allowing supermarkets and pharmacies to stay open. And that's it. Everybody else, go home. Don't leave your houses, okay? And, they shut the country down. Yeah, yeah. And maybe we may wind up having to do that here. You know, mm -hmm. we've already done it in New Rochelle. You know, uh, we may have to do it here. Uh, and what does that mean to a guy like like uh, like uh, 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 Todd, uh, who's a who's a truck driver who earns his living off yeah. of this economy and by this economy moving, and it's going to a standstill and he's not working and he's you got kids to take care of right? Well, you didn't know, you Trump call yeah. for unemployment for everybody who's affected by this? Yeah, but I mean, uh, you That's may have to, you may have to prove it. He may have a hard time proving it, you know, because he's self-employed, right? Am I right, Todd? Yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. but I mean, I can just take an early retirement and call it a day. Yeah, can you really afford to do that? You Hell pay. no. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Because I'm my little thinking. farm, my mini farm, and just. Grow my crops. I'm yeah. sitting here thinking, you're in your 40s, I'm in my 60s, and my boss is now retiring at 53. And I'm thinking, what the fuck did I do wrong all these years? I got to keep working. I'm still doing this for $10, for $8.35 for the last five weeks, is it, or something like that? Yeah. When it gets to 10 bucks, are you going to share? No. <laughs> when, share. when I get 10 bucks, I'm yeah, leaving town. We got profit sharing. I'm not making any money. <laughs> right, right. No, no. Every, every one of you uh, will, will share in my, in, my, in, my, uh, in my success. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, so just tell me where to send the 35 cents. Yeah, and I'll be send happy a, to do a, it. A pre, pre, uh, a stamp pre-addressed pre envelope. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's it. Do you have a theme? That's pretty good. Yeah. I like this newer, sh shorter format works better. We get it all in, and we, by the time we start getting tired, we don't feel we have to go another 25 minutes. Anyway, I want to thank all of you tonight. You've been terrific, every one of you. Uh, of course, uh, we always like having Kevin here, and Rob, you know you're always welcome on the panel. Uh, Jeff, you too. Todd, always great to see you. Tony, great to see you. And, of course, the lovely and attractive Phil Meyer. <laughs> Would everybody give a big wave goodbye? Okay? Good. And I'll wave back. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our Citizens Panel. And there'll be another one uh, commencing in just a few moments here. Um, yes, I'm serious about that because it'll be here with uh, a guy by the name of Jack Bishop, and he's got a show called The Intersection, and uh, give him a call. Anyway, uh, let's see here. We'll be back again tomorrow night. I see no reason why not. Good for grins, right? Okay, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. We'll be here at uh, 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time, 
And in the meantime, as always, and I like to say this fondly, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.